Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we're going to do an introduction to the end game. The end game is basically where there's not any more open corners or open sides. You can't really invade or develop too much anymore. So now it's about securing the borders of the territory and making these little exchanges to make as many points as possible and to make your borders as big as possible. So first off, let's explain what a border is. You see how we have a position here? Well, technically this position's not territory yet until we completely secure it and turn it into uh, an area that is surrounded by one color. So now we have two actual territorial positions to be counted. But just pushing it straight down to the wall like this isn't as valuable as it could be. Rather, we want to push the borders. And to do this, we're gonna learn some concepts about sente and gote. So first off, I've mentioned this in a previous video. Let's explain it a little bit more. Sente is a move or variation that is forcing or ends with you having the initiative to play somewhere else. Gote is the opposite. It's a move or variation that ends with your opponent having the initiative to play somewhere else. So let's explain a little bit about what this means. Sente is forcing, Gote is not. So if I were to play here, let's say I play here. I want to bring my border down, but I want to make it as big as possible. If I play here, I might get cut off. So let's just keep it simple and let's just play right here. Let's push it and try to reduce our opponent's territory while developing our own. And if white responds, that means I still have the initiative. It's still black's turn. Therefore, my move was sente. If my move sente, then it's a fair exchange. And it's really, really good in the end game because you want to play all your sente moves in the end game first. Sente is big in the end game. Let me say that again. Sente is big in the end game. You want to play all the sente first. So if I play all the sente first, push the borders, and then push the borders, and my opponent has a cut, my opponent has a cut, and then now I can play the big gote moves, for example here, my opponent plays sente, sente, and fix. And so now we can see this is a simple position. Now, don't worry about the exact order. I'm just saying try to play Sente first and then the big Gote second, and then try and finish the borders. And we're gonna see how different variations affect the score. So in this case, let's see the uh, score estimator. Let's see if I can do that. Um, I might have to use a score tool. Options. Yeah, it looks like I'll have to use a score tool. So let's use a score tool. In this case, white has 23 points of territory and black has 29 points of territory. So black wins by six points. Let's change it up a little bit though. Let's say white didn't respond here because this board actually looks exactly the same. So if this move is threatening this area, then I'll play this move to threaten this area. And if black blocks, I'll block. Now the score looks exactly the same, right? And then if we keep doing this, the score might look very different. And if we play like this, then the score is gonna look exactly the same, right? So we need to be very, very careful about getting to those big end games first. The idea of this example, I'm not wanting to confuse you by showing you how to ignore your opponent or how to get to this move first over that move. I don't wanna confuse, like, confuse you like that. Rather, I want to point out that if you play Sente moves first, then you can get an advantage over your opponent. And this is how you can improve your end game and have a better end game than your opponent. So as you saw in this example, this board looks even because it's the exact same, right? So the board has to have the exact same score. But in the other position, black had six more points than white. In that case, black was ahead by six, but in this case, black is even with white. The difference is, white didn't let black get all the sente moves so if black gets all the sente moves then black has a big lead but if white also gets his sente moves and black gets his sente moves basically if both players get all their sente moves then the score was roughly even this means overall 
that whoever got the extra sente moves first would have a lead and would win the game. Uh, I hope that wasn't too confusing for you, so I'm going to repeat myself. Whoever gets the sente moves first or the moves that force your opponent to respond first will have a bigger lead. Now, how do you determine what is sente and what is gote? The simplest answer is with practice. However, what you need to understand is this kind of, it's kind of a mathematical thing. Here, I'm threatening to come into this area, right? But here, white's threatening to come into this area. Well, which one's bigger? Well, as we can see in this example, they're both the exact same size. But if you wanted to check, you would say, how many points is black threatening to go in? Versus how many points white's threatening to go in? And you would say, which one's bigger? And then from there, you would try to block the bigger one or take the bigger one. And that's, in lamest terms, that's how the end game works. That's how you determine if something's sente or gote. You look at the follow-up's value. So in my head, I think if I play here, I'm threatening this follow-up. If white plays here, white's threatening this follow-up. And in order to understand follow-ups, it will require experience playing the end game. So for now, don't worry about the exact moves. Worry about the theory. Worry about understanding the concept. Don't worry about mastering this overnight. This is not something that's going to be super easy to master overnight. This will come with experience and time. So for now, just work on the theory. You want to play moves that push your borders and force your opponent to respond. So for example, instead of just blocking my border, I'm pushing it while threatening my opponent's points. I'm pushing it while threatening my opponent's points. Perhaps even something like this. Block or something. Uh, the idea is push your borders and threaten your opponent's points. Incente. If you once you finish that, then just block. So for example, as we saw in the other example, after we play this way, we just started to block. Just block the big moves. Block the big moves. Just block the borders and then secure your area. Once both areas are completely secure, we will proceed to the counting phase, which we'll cover in another video. For now, once again, we want to push the borders of our territory, reduce our opponent's borders or threaten to go into our opponent's area, and try to push our borders in sente. After we play all of our sente moves, we'll play the biggest gote moves. So I really hope this made sense, guys. If it doesn't, feel free to leave questions and comments in the comments below. Uh, as always, um, if you need to re-watch this video, do so as many times as you need. And I'm always here to answer questions and hope, help you understand the concept of the video. But hopefully uh, you guys did understand this and hopefully you found it helpful. And as always, I will see you guys next time.